All right, welcome to uh, Shitty Parents Anonymous, South Jersey chapter. I'm Pete Calisano. I'm a shitty parent. Um, I know maybe that's sometimes how we feel. Uh, nothing could be further from the truth. You are absolutely imperfect. None of us are perfect, okay? But you're not doing a bad job. There are so many times in life, so many things in life, where we think we're like so far off, we're 10% of the way there, and we need like a truckload of help to get us there. And the reality is you're probably 80%, 90% of the way there, and you can use a little tweak here and a little tweak there. Um, I love using references to sports, and one reference I'll give you is to football. I'm a big Jets fan, as you'll see throughout this. And, um, and I'm sure there's probably some Eagles fans in the house here. Raiders, Raiders fan, right? Um, the difference between the team that won the Super Bowl last year, the Philadelphia Eagles, and the New York Jets, who won five games last year and they were probably lucky to win five, seems vast. It seems massive. There must be a huge difference between the team that won it all, proved to be the best team in the league, and the team that won five games out of 16. Okay. The truth is, they're not that far off. The Eagles had a better quarterback. The Jets had a bad quarterback. They had a better defense. The difference is, is, is minor, and you can know that by going back one single season to the Eagles' previous season to know that they didn't even make the playoffs the year before. And then one year later, with a second-year quarterback, they go to the Super Bowl and win. It's even better than that. If you go back just a couple games before the Super Bowl, they could have lost to Atlanta. They won it on a 61-year-old. I think it was Atlanta. They won it on a 61-yard field, uh, field goal. They almost lost to the Giants earlier in the season, uh, actually twice. Uh, so, you know, at the end, it's like, oh, this team is great. A couple moves here and a couple moves there, and they, and they, and they win uh, eight or nine games. And we're not saying, greatest team ever. All right, we're not so excited. They're the Jets. The Jets are getting better, though, okay? So the difference, <laughs> and maybe you'll see this year, so what you see every year is you see a team who last year wasn't very good. In fact, another team last year that made a massive turnaround was the Rams, Okay, if you know anything, the year before, I think the Rams won two or three games. games. Yeah, and, and last year they were one of the high scoring teams in the league. Change of coach, quarterback has a little more experience. Suddenly, oh, this is a hot team. They're fantastic. Not that much changed. It's a small change, and then suddenly they're a great team. This year they're, they're predicted to either you know, be viable for a Super Bowl championship. Who knows? Okay. That much difference. That's where you all probably are right now. My mentor, Jim Rohn, would say, if you care at all, you can get some, re some results. If you care enough, you can get incredible results. Okay? I know you already care. You're here. Okay? If you weren't here, maybe then you were at the 20% and you needed 80%. You're probably pretty darn close. Okay? You're probably pretty close. And maybe uh, I have a couple ideas that could just push you over the hump. You're never going to get it all right. You're going to make mistakes all the time, and as you'll see today, that's a good thing. That's something we can work with, all right?